We are back with Paige Hemis. We're underneath the mason jar tree where we're going to hang a beautiful DIY garden chandelier. Yes. Yes, beautiful, this is beautiful, Paige. Paige. Thank you so it's much. It's really beautiful. Well, you know, I figure all of us are entertaining right now outside, and there's no reason to stay inside on a gorgeous summer night yeah. all across mm -hmm. the country. Normally, we can only say that in California. Right now, all of my relatives in Wisconsin and Illinois, they're saying they're having outdoor parties, so I thought, Let's bring the indoors outside and make a chandelier. This reminds me a little bit of your wedding, that outdoor oh, rustic feel. Really I think does. that's how it got its name, the mason jar tree, right? Yeah, yeah. it did. Because we, 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 we have mason jars here. This is an honor of 7,500 yeah. mason jars yeah. just in this I wasn't tree. there, so I don't know what you are. Oh, you it you was are. amazing. Okay. When they renew their vows, when they renew their vows, don't worry. We'll back But you actually, you did this at your new home outside. I did. Yes, yes. And I took this shot last night or very early this morning. It was about midnight last night. Um, oh, okay, yeah, just so so I just hung it on because we, we moved into a new house. We don't have any big trees. So if you guys don't have these gorgeous trees like we do here at the home and family house, this I hung off a balcony. So oh, really nice. all you need is a rope and some carabiners sure. that hold it and you could put it anywhere. You don't need to have a gorgeous mason jar tree like we have. Right. I think it's the official term. All of right. What do you need to have? You do need to have a tray, and this can be an outdoor tray. This is actually an indoor one, but it's made of metal, so it's nice and so it's hold yeah. up. Okay. Um you have mason jars. Uh, little tea lights. You can use regular. I suggest battery operated because it's just a little bit safer. We've got the carabiners, the chain, little mm. moss, and then I have quinoa here, but I used quinoa, quinoa. and a bunch of other little grains that I thought would look why great Why quinoa? Outside. Why, yeah, why? I nice love little... the color, and I love, those are sunflower seeds, yeah. pumpkin seeds, That's pretty. and if you, you look. also like slash as a bird feeder. That's slash what I was <laughs> a bird feeder. However, <laughs> yes, if you do have that, I have a solution for you. And the last thing I added was the uh, this vase. Okay. And you, but honestly, it doesn't need to be this pretty. It can be any vase inside because you're going to cover it up anyway. Okay, so oh, how okay. do we do it? All right. All right. The first thing you do is take this moss. It comes in just rollable sheets. Yeah. It smells a little bit like a farm, the yep. moss. It does. Yeah. You know, bit. it's not okay. pleasant on the nostrils, um, mm -hmm. but soon it'll be hanging from a tree, so we don't need That's to worry true. about that. And, those, and then, that never grows on a rolling stone, just so you know. I've tried it. it you just tried doesn't. it? Nope. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's stone, no moss. Kept rolling you noticed it. that? I Julie didn't it. even give you the high hat. I know. You didn't even get a high hat for it. So you just cut a few extra pieces and trim out the entire bottom. So this doesn't matter. If you have a nice rust, rustic tray like this, you might want to leave it. If you have any other tray, just layer it with moss, and you can tuck these under. Do you attach it or glue it or just leave it lay on? Just leave I guess it it's going to stay anyway. Yeah. Right? It's going to stay, yes, yeah. because when you get to the next step, this is the mason jar, and I'll just take this off. Um, a little fragrance? I just know. I just got a little hot. You got a little hot? It's so hot out. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that was my outside voice. <laughs> Is that my outside voice? Debbie's a little hot. I said, woo, woo, woo. It's only 175 degrees. We need some here. lemonade. So, all I did uh, was take a little jar. And you can do anything you want in here. I loved these colors, but honestly, you could do sand. You could do yeah, sure. Why not? Even you colored could do sand would be good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I think you probably have to be careful how heavy the product is. That I wouldn't do rocks, would you? Well, I mean, you, you could. You just you have to have. have you lava rocks are. Make lighter. sure that the things you have to hold it can hold it still. Okay. So then I, I put my um, my little candle that in makes there. Makes a lot of sense. And it's. Make sure the things that can hold it can hold, can it. hold it. She's ex yeah. I understood can exactly hold what it. you're saying. Yeah. Here's what I mean. Uh, let yes. me explain. Okay, <laughs> so you're gonna put, you're gonna put this up by using a carabiner or an mm -hmm. S beaner. And if you look in close right here, it says it holds 25 pounds. So, and this one right here. This is the kind that like comes on keychains. It's made out of aluminum. Yeah. Don't trust. No, oh, don't really? trust. Okay. No, you want ones that are rated for whatever weight that you're gonna do. Sure, and I, locking are nice. Yeah. And, right. Yes. And so imagine this. I have 13 here, but however big you have, you can just go all the way around with your mason jars, and then you take inside. You take. You leave the scissors out. Um, set that. So just think, it's all gonna be covered. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. um, so, this will need soon, but first, I'm gonna grab these from underneath. And I also like that they're um, the faux candles that have the light in them anyway. Yes. I think that's probably important, no? It, it's really nice for, um, especially where I live, is high fire, so right. we're not allowed to have open flame in the backyard. Um, but let's say it's Christmas time or it's getting fall, you can add darker colors. But you can see what I did here. 
it's all summery and springy colors. Oh. Sure. And then the last thing we did, oh no, first before then, we took our carabiners and um, this is just regular chain. chain. Right. This is actually, you can find this in the lighting department of um, your home. And is that uh, a weighted too? Is there a gauge oh. on it? Right. Um, th this is 11 gauge, mm -hmm. but they're all rated to hold uh, right. lighting fixtures and chandeliers, which, which are, are heavy. Yes. yes. But let me tell you, I use 25 pound little carabiners yeah. here. Sure. Th these hold 25. At the top, I used one that was for 100 pounds. Even though this is not 100 pounds, yeah, I want to make sure that's that. That's safe. That's yeah. maybe 20 right. at best, probably. Right, at 20 at yeah. best. Yeah. And if you wouldn't mind taking <laughs> some moss, Brent, obviously, and helping me, yes. just all yeah. you do once this is up, this is the pretty moss. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, and you just stick There's it no in, way I'm stick it in the yeah, crevices. Yeah, you can put it anywhere. This just don't try to. Put it on a rolling stone going by if it I, passes I'm, I'm by. Because it well, gathers no moss. Yeah. We got it. But this, right. this um, sort of reminds me of, of summer in the vineyard, no? It? <laughs> it is. A little bit. You just take this, vineyard. put some, uh, remember I said you're going to hide that? The one I have in here is actually silver. You can't yeah. see it. So know, just doing put, this right? Just kind of. You, you know what? There's no wrong way. Oh, right. You are a DIYer. Officially a huh. DIYer. How much does this cost, Paige? This costs $25. Or if you have any of this stuff at at home, it could be free. It could be yeah, zero. Hey, one more time, a look at how this looks at night because I think that's the part that really is that. captures me the so most. It's so romantic. Lighting is so important. It sets it such is. a tone and such a mood. And I thought of you last night when I was trying to take a picture at night. <laughs> yeah, so uh, everything Mark had taught me about photography. I forgot, I forgot. <laughs>